Within hours of capturing Herat, the terror group's fighters were out patrolling streets trying to convince residents of Afghanistan's third largest city that life would soon return normal. Business will continue as normal and people are happy with us and with our services they will be happier. Hamid has serious doubts about those claims. Right now, we fear elimination. The Taliban are going to eliminate the Christian population of Afghanistan. Hamid, not his real name, is among thousands of Afghans who've come to faith in Jesus Christ over the past two decades. We've concealed his identity for safety. There weren't a lot of Christians 20 years ago during the Taliban time. But today, we are talking about 5,000 to 8,000 local Christians, and they live all over Afghanistan. In an exclusive interview from an undisclosed location, Hamid told CBN News he's very concerned about the future of Afghanistan's tiny Christian community. We know a Christian believer who we've been working with in the north, he's a leader, and we've lost contact with him because his city has fallen to the Taliban. There are three other cities that we have lost contact with our Christian believers. According to Open Doors, Afghanistan is the second most dangerous place to be a Christian in the world, just behind North Korea. The majority of the Christians here converted from Islam. Some of the believers are known in their communities. People know that they converted from Islam to Christianity, and they are considered apostates, and the penalty for that is death. The Taliban are famous for carrying out that punishment. Taliban fighters are reportedly now going door to door, forcing families to give up their daughters, some as young as 12, to be sex slaves for their men. I have four sisters that are single. They are at home and they are worried about this. David, a foreign national, has worked in Afghanistan for the past three decades. We've taken similar precautions to protect his identity. He saw the Taliban's brutality up close while living in Kabul during its last reign. Now comes fear of a return to the days of regular executions, flogging, stoning to death and hand chopping. They have a strict interpretation of Islamic law, not only from the Quran, but also from what they call hadiths, which are traditions, sayings and practical applications of Islamic law. They take these literally. Despite these threats, David says there's a hunger among Afghans like never before to know God in an intimate way. People are really seeking in their heart for peace, seeking for a true relationship with God, for meaning in life, and for an understanding of who is this God. Hamid is asking people around the world to pray for his country during these uncertain times. The Christian community in Afghanistan is strong. They are trusting Jesus. They are working with Jesus despite the potential of being eliminated by the Taliban. George Thomas, CBN News.